Yeah, I would say the easiest way to get out of tutorial hell is to stop doing tutorials. Instead of learning programming by like going to Google and saying how to code language X, that's a good way to like learn the syntax of the language. But getting out of tutorial hell, I think is as simple as pick a project, build the project. Because what that'll actually allow you to do is not only learn the language that you're trying to learn, but teach you problem solving, figuring out how to do entire system design, and then learning the limitations of that language, which I think overall is more beneficial than just like how to do arrays in C, if that makes sense. So I hope you get out of that tutorial hell though, bud. I really do. So he is basically right about these things. What he is trying to say is that if you want to create a project, let's say, it is a project of building a system like YouTube, okay? So what you will need in that system? If you look at the YouTube, there are so many things. There are different sections like home, short, subscription, uh, history, lost watch, so many things, okay? Playlist. And uh, there are also user base uh, views, okay? so. You have to create, start a project instead of following a tutorial. Okay, let's say you want to start the YouTube video project. Then for the first thing you will need is upload. Okay, so that you can upload the videos. You will see how the upload function works and how the user experience will be, how the UI will be where should the user uh, click to make sure that he can access the upload what options will you allow the user to upload so there are so many things in the way and if you stick with this mindset and um, start your own project and go to uh, like start creating the upload feature then you will uh, get around like you will face so many problems so many bugs will occur, so many uh, problems will occur, and you will need to solve them. When you are done with upload, then you will need to display the video, play the video. In some cases, it may, might not play, it might not load, there might be some cases. So you will have to deal with all those. Then there is a search, there is a list. So many things will involve. I think it is a better idea that um, he is saying to uh, start a project rather than following a tutorial that will just give you the um, let you know about the syntax of the code like um, if you want to build a website if you want to become a web developer instead what you do is that you create a tic-tac-toe game so I think you should start making your own website by yourself by coding yourself, by searching for solutions, by searching for the options that you really need. So um, I think that's a pretty good video and um, it has opened my mind and I'm sure that it would have opened your mind as well.